Hi students, welcome to my channel Physics World by Spark Sudhakar. Okay, we are seeing series of lectures in thermodynamics. Okay, in the last video we have seen about first energy equation, second energy equation. Now we are going to see what are TDS equations. Okay, TDS equation, they are three in number. Okay, right before going into uh, this three TDS equations. Okay, I will give you a solution for the problem which I have mentioned in the last video. Okay, this is a previous year question. The relation between pressure and volume of an ideal gas in a reversible process is given as P equal to AV plus B, where A is minus 31 by 56 Pascal per meter cube and B equal to 255 by 7 Pascals. The volume at which temperature attains maximum is. He has not given anything about temperature. Okay, he has not given what type of process also. He simply said it is a reversive process and an ideal gas. That's all. Okay. And he has given some relation between pressure and volume. Nothing to talk about uh, temperature. But one hint we can get is, right, the gas is an ideal gas. Okay, next one, the volume at which temperature becomes maximum means what there should be some change in temperature with volume. Okay, so if you try to draw a graph of temperature versus volume, okay, at some volume, the temperature should become maximum means the curve should have some peak at some specific volume, temperature should become maximum. Okay, so whatever is the variation of temperature with volume, right, at some specific volume, right, the temperature should become maximum. At what volume it becomes maximum, he is asking. So, for this curve, if I draw what you call at the maximum point, if I take the slope of the curve, slope of the curve is nothing but, right, dt by dv. Okay, at the peak point, the slope is, we are getting the horizontal line slope should be equal to zero means dt by dv must be equal to zero at that volume temperature will become maximum okay so the ideal gas equation is pv equal to rt the ideal gas equation is pv equal to rt so i'll differentiate that equation try to get that dt by dv okay now pv equal to rt so differentiate that p dv plus V dp is equal to R dt we get, R dt we get, okay, dt by dv should become 0, isn't it, dt by dv should become 0 means I will divide throughout with dv, so P dv by dv is nothing but P plus V dp by dv is equal to R dt by dv. Okay, at the peak point where what you call the temperature is become maximum, slope of the curve becomes zero, dt by dv becomes zero means r dt by dv should also become zero. That is p plus v dp by dv must be equal to zero. Now we have to evaluate dp by dv. Where how to get dp by dv? This is what the where the equation he has given becomes useful. P equal to AV plus B. So differentiate this equation with respect to pressure dP by dV or this is directly dP equal to ADV. That's all. B is a constant becomes 0. So dP by dV is equal to A we get. Okay. And P equal to AV plus B. So P equal to AV plus B is substitute here plus V into A. Okay. dP by dV is nothing but A we have got. So it is AV. Okay, this must be equal to 0 means 2AV plus B must be equal to 0 or V equal to minus B by 2A. Minus B by 2A. B value is given, A value is given. Substitute that at that volume, temperature becomes maximum. It is like this. So what are the values of, right, A and B given? So V equal to volume at which temperature becomes maximum is nothing but minus B by 2A. A is a negative only. Okay, B by 2A. B value is 255 by 7 divided by 2 into A. Divided by 2 into minus 31 by 56. Minus sign is here also. This minus and minus, they get cancelled. Okay, this is nothing but 228 are So it becomes 28 by 31. So this is nothing but 255 by 7 into 28 by 31. Okay, so 7 fours are 28. 31, mm, 
ओके सो टेन रिमेन समथिंग लाइक अराउंड एट पॉइंट टू समथिंग विल गेट ओके टू फिफ्टी फाइव बै थर्टी वन थर्टी वन एट जर टू थर्टी एट टू फार्टी एट सेवन सो अराउंड टू एट पॉइंट टू एट पॉइंट टू इंटू फोर इट्स अराउंड थर्टी टू पॉइंट समथिंग लाइक एट ओके सो ना वेरीफाइ दि आपशन गिवेन ओके अरउंड थर्टी टू पॉइंट समथिंग ओके द आपशन आर थर्टी टू पॉइंट नईन मीटर क्यूब थ्री ट्वेंटी नईन ओके पॉइंट थ्री टू नईन ट्वेंटी पॉइंट सेवन ओके सो द क्लोजस्ट आपशन ईज वॉट यू कॉल थर्टी टू पॉइंट नईन क्लोजस्ट आपशन ईज थर्टी टू पॉइंट नईन मीटर क्यूब एट दट पॉइंट टेम्परेचर बिकम्स मैक्सीम ओके ना वील एंटर इन टू वाट आर नोन एस टी डी एस इक्वेश ओके they denote the change in entropy okay provide we they help us in calculating the heat content tds when we know the variations of entropy with the temperature or pressure or volume and also cv cp values okay so let the first step is let entropy be a function of temperature and let entropy be a function of temperature and volume okay so ds equal to differentiate that what do you get do s by do t okay constant volume into dt plus do s by do v okay at constant t into dv we get okay multiply both sides with temperature okay so what happens t ds is equal to right t into do s by do t at constant v into dt plus do s by do v at constant t into dv okay so t ds is nothing but the heat content t into do s by do t at constant v do q by do t at constant v this one is do q by do t at constant volume is nothing but cv molar specific at constant volume cv dt plus do s by do v at constant t modify it using maxwell's equation okay modify it using maxwell's equation now i think you are also are become, have become proficient if you know lhs of maxwell's equation how to get rhs okay now what is uh, maxwell's equivalent relation for this one so in the denominator we'll have do t okay constant volume process it will be s v t r over so it is do p okay do p into dv it is okay since p by t term is there the term is positive only so this is known as the first tds equation this is known as the first tds equation tds equal to cv dt plus do p by do t at constant volume into dv so if i know the variation of pressure with temperature at constant volume if i know the specific heat right of that uh, system i can estimate the heat content okay heat transferred or heat given or heat taken like that okay this is known as first tds equation okay first tds equation now next for to obtain second tds equation i'll take entropy to be a function of temperature and pressure okay if i take entropy as a function of temperature and pressure and differentiate what do we get okay so let entropy be a function of temperature and pressure first temperature and volume temperature and pressure okay right so ds equal to right do s by do t at constant p into dt this is our differentiation okay this simple differentiation plus do s by do p at constant t into dp we get again both sides of tds equation is you should get you have to multiply here ds is there you have to multiply with t remember like that okay so tds is equal to t do s t do s is nothing but do q okay do q by do t at constant pressure do q by do t at constant pressure is nothing but cp molar specific heat at constant pressure cp dt plus do s by do p at constant t do s by do p at constant t again using maxwell's equations modify that okay right when you modify that what do you get right uh, do t will come in the denominator pressure will be constant okay so volume will be there do v by do t at constant pressure since there is no what you call p by t or v by uh, t by p term has come it should be a negative one okay means i should put minus sign here okay i should put a minus sign here 
minus okay dou v by dou t at constant pressure into dp this is known as second tds equation okay tds equal to cpdt if you know the temperature of volume with uh, if you know the variation of volume with the temperature at constant pressure and if you know the molar specific at constant pressure you can calculate the heat transfers taking place in that in such a process okay so tds this is known as second tds equation the third one is now this time uh, we will take entropy to be a function of pressure and volume. Temperature and volume are over. Temperature and pressure is over. Now temperature and uh, pressure and volume we take. Okay. So let entropy be a function of. Let entropy be a function of pressure and volume. Okay. So ds equal to as usual. Okay. Do s by do p. Okay a constant volume into dp plus okay do s by do v a constant pressure into dv okay now multiply both sides with the t so t ds is equal to right t into do s by do p a constant volume into dp plus t into do s by do v at constant pressure into dv okay now earlier i took tds as do q directly but here in the denominator there was temperature if you remember okay right now it is pressure so i should bring uh, temperature into the denominator means what do i do i'll modify this like this do s by do t i'll take a constant volume into right do t by right do p at constant volume such that do t do t gets cancelled what remains is do s by do p at constant volume only means nothing is getting changed here i am not modifying anything so into dp only i'll write here plus okay this also do s by do v is there i should bring do t here such that i can take this as do q and convert that into cp or cv okay so t into i'll modify this equation as do s by do v at constant sorry do t at constant pressure okay do t at constant pressure into do t by do v at constant pressure into d v l right okay now we can say t do s as uh, do q do q by do t at constant volume is nothing but c v okay so now familiar step only t d s is equal to okay right do q by dot at constant volume is nothing but cv into do t by do p at constant volume into dp plus t into right now do s by uh, t do s is nothing but okay t do s is nothing but do q do q by dot at constant pressure is nothing but our molar specific constant volume cp cp into do t by do v at constant pressure into dv okay this is known as the third tds equation okay you may not expect problems because these problems sometimes are lengthy okay in an objective exam you may not expect problems from these equations but they may give you four tds equation and ask you which of the following is not a tds equation or which of the following is a tds equation like that okay so try to instead of memorizing these equations try to what you call derive then and there only it hardly takes one minute to derive any tds equation okay entropy as a function of temperature volume entropy as a function of temperature and pressure entropy as a function of pressure and volume you'll get three tds equations okay thank you students i hope you have liked this video right please share it and uh, subscribe it as a source of as a sort of encouragement for me so that i can do more videos in better and better manner okay thank you